Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. I just got off of client calls today. Very, very inspiring. Even the energy is shifting and I'm so, so grateful to be able to do this work and to connect even deeper. And what we are here to create in this new earth is amazing. It's really, it's so, it's so much with so much love and so much deep devotion to creating this new reality. Hi, Eleanor. Yes, I was on a call with you today. And so I just got out of the shower and you know, these moments when suddenly you get so much clarity, it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I have to go live. Although I already went live this morning from my meditation walk. Um, I got to share this with you because what I feel from the collective, from my community and today in three client calls, I have the same topic about, I feel called to serve. I feel this, this pull forward. There is nothing that I, that comes from my head, nothing that I want to push out of me anymore. It is so, it's like this calling is so clear. It comes from deep inside. And so many of you, hi Martha girl. So many of you, especially the women I work with have been waiting and working for this moment so long. And Oh, you all did your your work. We went very deep. We prepared. We worked through all these limiting beliefs around what is possible. And suddenly, now this drops. This deep calling about and the belief around yes. Now I know it's possible. Now I believe in myself. I feel so ready. I feel I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Other hands. So if you're dropping on, on here, say hi, so that I can give you a little bit of love. And please share this video with your community because I think it is such an important message for you. If you are um, an entrepreneur or if you even have a day job and you want to build um, a side income because you, you want more freedom now and you realize that this old world that we are now living in is not working anymore, right? So this is for you because when you feel this calling, you know, that you want to serve, that you have something to give, right? And if you feel, hi Cheryl, if you feel this calling, then um, you also know that you're ready because otherwise you would not have this desire inside of your heart. And here's the thing that um, most likely you might be like, okay, but how, how and what? I just have this immense feeling that I have something big to contribute to this whole awakening. And this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And I know so many of us have been waiting for this moment to show up and to share the gifts. Um, and you've been preparing and waiting for this. And there's also the, how can I make money with it? And I know so many of you are in, in, in kind of worry about the finances situation and the way we are now meant to make money is also different from it, from the old world, right? So the whole concept around the new world, the new finances, the new frequencies, how we create wealth in these new days, it all needs to come from within our heart and this is a total paradigm shift so out of our out from our heads out from trying to create something to make money versus letting the creation come through us from this calling so that we are pulled forward to what we're here to serve and then fully anchored in the trust that we are always supported and so that this flow of giving and receiving is totally natural and we're all supported anytime. So detaching completely from a certain income goal and focusing solely on the creation so that the creation itself manifests in the income because the impact will turn it into an income for you by just the way that your frequency, your energy, your offers, your help, your support will be received. And of course, 
when it all comes from the heart it will be compensated massively because you give so much love and then you will also receive but you need to be really anchored really anchored in this new belief you found you're safe you're taken care of hi karen you've been taken care of everything gonna work out for you and there is this bigger bigger divine man and divine timing that is guiding us so we got to have clarity clarity first about four things and these four things i was talking to today about three of my clients so this i thought is a theme today so i want to share it with you and i just got this clarity as i was standing under the shower you know so you just take a hot shower and you're in your in your zone and you're not overthinking and then suddenly boom there it is there's the clarity and for me this dropped the clarity about what i'm here to serve and how i can support you as leaders to this drop still in Paris I was after the um, uh, VIP day with one of my clients and then we were preparing for a photo shoot and suddenly I felt so much like something entering me with such a heaviness denseness of grounding like it's 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 so it's I'm guided I'm guided I trust I anchor into this I lean back I let be guided and I just open up for these messages to come through and whatever happens we're safe whatever happens we're safe and whenever I am detached to something I just work on letting it go so it makes space for the new things to come it's a really it's like you know, a spring cleanse um emotionally physically maybe financially a little bit but you know the this what goes even the finances was not fully aligned with your soul and the higher purpose that we're here to serve so these four things i'm talking about now um, are the things that you need to get clear first before you get into any creation mode okay so it's not about just getting something out there to make money no no no. it's really about having this clarity and this deep connect this this deep connection to source through the inner guidance um, to then create something that is fully aligned with your purpose and with the purpose of the collective which is so yes Luzanne I'm, I was thinking of you. Um, hi, Trudy, because um, it is also that we need to be open for other things to come through. So we th we were thinking and we were doing and our businesses and leading our lives in a one certain way. And I was like, we are humans. We have plans. We have ideas about how our life should look like. And um, last week i was just talking about how to create your dream life why right i was in paris and so i had these these the, the guidance and it is it is not always like we think it it will evolve evolve and develop and it it showed me so clear and this was the work that i did for months and months and months before to lean even more into trust to open more to open my channel more to connect deeper to to spirit god soul to really am prepared for these moments where you're totally out of the normal out of the matrix and you're you cannot rely on anything but your own inner truth your own inner power, your own inner connection to source, because everything else outside is, can be maybe manipulation, is not stable, is not the reality, only what is inside and in your own truth. And, and this is what I went through, like reconnecting back to my own power, my inner guidance, um, that I don't rely on coaches, that I don't rely on my parents, that I don't rely on my partner in terms of codependency. Okay, so breaking through this, but this is a different topic. So I, dig I dig digress. I want to keep it short and powerful today. Um, yes, Lizanne, um, walk for me later about my inspiration that I had for her business because it is exactly also to keep the channel open to what comes through and this is maybe not the thing that we thought 
it is or it is we we have an idea about the how but the how sometimes if we have ideas about the how we're not open to what else there is so how can we all see this differently and how can we only open up for further creations to come through so life is now and manifestation is now happening through us by us doing only the work to be open to take care of our energy to take care of our body our emotions our health of course right but, uh, much 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 about energy and um, human design is one tool that i love to use it gives me so much clarity about what i need right now and on my meditation walk today I got the clarity about these four things and then I was talking about it to my clients and now I'm so excited what they're gonna create so the first thing that you need to be clear about um, the whole creation process and the whole leadership discussion that we are now observing here is that I see a lot feeling called to lead right and the leaders that are most clear most certain and most consistent they will stand out and they will create their community their following and they will also build businesses in a totally different way so it's about clarity it's about certainty in those totally uncertain times and it is about consistency okay so that you have consistency in your energy consistency in your business consistency in your income consistency in your messaging consistency in your creation all that so today i want to talk about clarity and then i want the next days i want to talk about certainty consistency and this all is like major download which then kind of merges into one amazing creation that I will talk about later. So the four things you need to be clear, and I'm looking to the side because I took notes because it was so powerful what I was talking about is that you need to be clear on your unique gifts and your strength. So what are your, what is your zone of genius? And I know a lot of you um, like are multi-passionate or like many writers uh, have so many ideas so many passions so many zone zone of geniuses in terms of you're good at a lot of things and you're get excited about a lot of things but there's one thing which or maybe one thing that now is most needed and and not only most needed this is one thing that nourish you most so your purpose right now which is only now, we, we only want to be in the now, no future. It's just now when you have this calling, to answer this calling is really about what can you do and imagine to, to do a lot and along like intensely and, and with passion and joy that nourishes you, that does not take your energy. Because, you know, I was saying it's all about how we manage the energy and it should come through. So again, clear about what are you good at, what are your strengths, what are your unique gifts, what are your talents, and what are you most excited to share now. And usually it is really all, all about getting out of your head into your heart and then there it is. There is the answer. And so what I do in my in the work with my with women is to lead them out of the head into the body. So through meditation, to Kundalini, also looking at the human design chart to see is your head open, is your third eye open, how is the connection, which gates are activated. So then you get know your patterns. Know your patterns that you're running. Why are you overthinking? Why is it so hard for you to get inspired um, and be creative? All these things. But for now, the clarity around your strengths is key. Um, then the thing, the second thing is, who are you here to serve? Like with this mad medicine that you are, you got to serve someone and help someone who is in pain, right? So who is it that you can help? 
and what is the, the pain point what is um she or he struggling with what is um what is what is keeping her up at night and especially at the moment i mean we feel a lot we are all very very empathetic um and we a lot of fears there anxiety and all that but how does this look like in her daily life and what is it there that you can offer and then um what are you here to say what is your core message how can you reach this person right so um i was uh, and and through which channels is it facebook instagram then we got to the practical but the first is really your message your message needs to be as clear as the one thing that you have here to offer because now is like there's so much distraction anyways it is so complicated at the moment right and the easier the more clear you are the easier your more your message gonna be heard and received and um, and the more clear you are about what you talk about then the more you can relax because you you do not anymore have to think about oh what do you have to what, what can I say today how can I show up today it's just coming through you like I did talking about clarity talking about leadership talking about the calling talking about how I can help you to follow this calling and and really step into your role as a leader right now and lead with the now and not wait not procrastinate it's now that you are needed okay so I really want you to feel what um, what is the message that wants to come through, okay? And then the other thing is um, really how to get creative, how to cre create an offer that really gets to people and how to market it, right? So that it not only makes an impact on the people, but also for you an income. And this is then because everything is coming through you from spirit and is aligned with the higher purpose of for everyone, um, it is totally good that you are asking for uh, money in revenge, right? That you put out an offer, that you sell something because some people are like, oh, can I sell something at the moment? Yes, if it comes from love, if you are convinced and certain that um, this will help the collective right now. If it comes from fear when you're holding on to your old business and try to kind of may hit this income goal that month, that does not work. But when it comes from love and true clarity about what is it that you're here to serve and that you're feeling the pull forward, then go for it. So um, I want you really, and this is what my the last thing I want to give you. With it. I'm so I'm so grateful for my clients. I'm so grateful for the community that's here. I'm so grateful for this whole what is happening because it's 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 coming to together puzzle piece. I, I felt it um, at the beginning of this year that this year is going to be different. It's a different frequency. I, I didn't know what it was, but it just was this deep knowing, this splenic energy that I have of this instinct. And now I was like, yes, yes, yes. And for 20 years, 20 years ago, I was sitting there and like, I feel called to lead for something bigger. And it was so unclear for me and I did not know how. And so I made it to my life work to figure out why am I here? Who am I here to serve? What is my purpose? Um, what is my message? What is my true core reason to be here? And I already, I, I got to a point where I was so depressed that I thought I don't want to be alive anymore if I don't know my assignment. And I know how frustrating it can feel if you feel called to something, but you don't know how to get it out of your heart to the world and make a living from it right so that's why i'm so passionate about this and i i'm so grateful to found it and so i'm so grateful that i have the clarity to know what i am here to teach you and this is exactly this how to gain clarity um how to conceptualize it in terms of bring it out there into an offering and how to make money with it and waking up every morning and and doing the work which does not feel like work and knowing i'm made for this i am made for this exactly this is my home soul home um that feels so good and so i my passion is 
to share this with you and to help you to find this too so that you find clarity that you are certain in these uncertain times and then you and that you make money by making an impact and coming from the heart right building a businesses that are based on love will flourish after this this is just the beginning because times will get not easier the awakening has begun so we be prepared for it and work our tools and clarity is key yes felix he's hungry so i love you i will talk more about it tomorrow um if you're still on here um drop me a heart or anything so that i can say namaste and say your name i'm very very grateful that you're here um hi lalena if you're still here i honor you projector sister karen project projector sister so many projectors are here we're really the, the guides that that see the bigger picture and help others to bring their gifts to the world so i'm very excited to have so many here lazan i love you so much I, i'm so excited to create martha parts oh my phone is shutting down okay that was it instagram um and so tomorrow i'm gonna talk about certainty certainty i'm so excited so um martha i'm gonna text you later karen gonna get a message from me as well because we did this distance energy healing and human design which was so very very powerful for karen and um i will share more in a post later about this so i am so I see you soon, tomorrow. Have a good night. Love you, love you, love you.